What's up guys? We're gonna be working on a hinge for this today. <coughs> I should have gone on earlier, but I was cleaning up this little box that uh, is what I work in. Where I work. On my stuff. For anyone who doesn't see it, or hasn't seen it, this is what I'm gonna be making. Something that uh, is not going to come down. So if you take a look at the hinge there, it'll actually stop the thing from coming down. So if I can, if I do it correctly, this should should uh, do the same thing. Let's also look at the differences between the left and right shoulder. Unfortunately, it just seems to be impossible to get any of this correct. So if you look at the differences between this one and that one, right? This one's got a longer thing here. It's not as wide. These are all screwed up. I really don't know what to do about it. I've been sitting here trying to wonder, should I make it again? Should I leave it alone? Should I even bother making this armor? You know, it's the kind of thing like... <sighs> don't make too many rash decisions, but... Let's just... Let's just power through it. Power through the funk. Alright, Brian. Yeah, it was good to see you. Working on the knife. Hell yeah. Uh, let me get some music going. I still haven't even started working on the video for the bowl. Maybe I should have done that instead. That should be fine. Sorry for the noise if that was too loud for you guys. Jessica Foss, hello. How's it going? Is that... Is that you? Is that formerly known as Crouch? How's it going? Okay. This going... That actually might be just fine. Alright, so the way I managed to get the, uh, Oh, exciting! How exciting, exciting! Oh, yeah, for sure. <laughs> yeah. Are you gonna miss it? Are you gonna get, miss uh, all the, the funny comments you get from your last name? I know growing up, people tried to make fun of my last name, but it was impossible. It just doesn't make enough sense.
All right. really strong wire.
<sighs> Very aggravating indeed. Hell yeah, man. Dude, that look, that's gonna be freaking awesome. I hope so too. I hope so too because um, it's gonna be permanent after that. <laughs> I know I have my own problems with getting things centered and shit like that. This whole left shoulder is just a huge disappointment.
like I may actually have to do this, uh, this one at least again. Like the, the triangle, I mean. Oh, hey, what's up, mini garden? Oh, yeah. Well, I hope you have a sweet, sweet dreams. on there, or the, uh, one of the hinges, I guess. <laughs> okay, I think that'll work. Awesome. I'll have to remember that in the future. So on the other one, right, I had an issue with, uh, with this 
stopping at the right place. So I made it to where it'll, um, I showed you a minute ago, but I made it to where there's no way for it to go by because there's that, or, excuse me, that blocking it. But with this one, it's gonna be these blocking it. So that's good. Now I need to recreate this part here, and uh, it's never going to work, but we'll get it as close as we can. Oh, look at that! Why, Vito, how's it going? I'm gonna. You want to be on uh, on speaker? I'm on. I'm live right now. Awesome. What's up, man? Hello to everyone in chat, Minnie Garden, Alice, Ryan King, and Jessica Foss. Good evening. Let me, uh, uh, hang on just a second. I can barely hear you, so I'm going to turn off the music and whatnot. All right, what's up, man? I'm doing just fine. How about yourself? Hey, good. Hey, I wanted to ask you a question. Sure. Uh, I'm playing around. I can't figure out how you do it, so I figured I'd just ask direct. And uh, it's a good question, so I need to ask you on uh, on the stream if they're interested. will know as well, or perhaps they already know. Sure. But that is, uh, and hello, Joe Schaefer in the stream there. Yeah? Joe, um, how's it going? <laughs> but hey, my question is this. When you when you play sound on your videos, it, it comes in crystal clear on, on our end as the, as, the, as the listeners. Okay. Um, what's your contraption or how are you doing that? Uh, what I'm doing, instead of playing the music for the speakers, I'm uh, sorry, through the speakers, I play it through the computer. Um, and then I make it just low enough for me to be able to hear with my ears, but not able to pick up on the mic. So if, if the mic was able to hear it from the speakers, then it would be like an echo. Um, but because I, I actually control two volumes, my microphone and the uh, volume of, of the computer um, noises. So I could play YouTube in the background and it would do the same thing. Kumanina, hello. We got Wainito on the phone. Amito and I, we've been friends for just a little bit longer than Lou and I. Yes. We, yep. We've been friends since the Africa trip. Africa? Kumanina. Kumanina and I, yeah. Oh, yeah. So, but, so the thing is, is you say, when you say you play it through your computer, you don't have speakers hooked up to your computer? I do, but um, what it, what you're picking up, what you guys are hearing, is the volume control of of my com of of the microphone, right? Like I could, I could turn down my speaker control for the uh, not speaker. I could con turn down my computer volume from my soft my my uh, X split, right? Because like right here on the. Actually, I think I might be able to show you guys. Let's see here. So right here is a uh, microphone volume control and a um, oh excuse me these here and a speaker control and I can turn down the music that you guys hear from the computer or I can turn down my mic right and uh, um, so I I could turn this down and then turn up my volume here so that the speakers can make it to the mic. But what I do is I just, I make the computer listen, uh, make it listen to the computer instead of the mic for the music, if that makes sense. So you're doing, you're doing streaming live, YouTube live? Yeah. 
I use uh, something called XSplit for my uh, for my stuff. It doesn't have a watermark and uh, it's free and whatnot. It's really good. Uh, it's called, oh yeah, uh, uh, no, just an X. So X, I guess, dash and split. Interesting. Yeah, it's pretty neat. So, hey, Joe Schaefer, I just see you. How you doing, buddy? Can't find my camera. Yeah. Yeah, Joe, say uh, hey. Or did you say hi because I'm in the stream? It's me on the phone, Joe. <laughs> yeah. Hey, me but, uh, So, the other thing is, oh, there we go. <laughs> so, the other thing is, too, um, you know, the other day you were talking, or I mentioned on the screen, uh, how you uh, stay so positive. Oh, yeah. And uh, I think uh, some people were asking, you know, that, like, you know, you've gone through, I think. Well, actually, you went on you went on Brian King's uh, live recently, yeah. And I saw uh, I saw a lot of trolling going on. Detractors, and, yeah. You know, <laughs> yeah, yeah. With, you know, people people throwing their little slurs out at you. Oh yeah. And, uh, you did a fantastic job of uh, just kind of shutting them off. But you know, what's your uh, what's your your tactic there on on uh, how you deal with that? Uh, for one, I really didn't read the comments while I was doing my talking, so it was uh, less distracting. But other other than that, it's mostly because my feelings towards the audit community have gone from... How dare you, I guess, to... Well, they're going to do what they want, you know. Um, because... In the end of the day, freedom is what counts, right guys? Freedom is what counts, and people should be free to make dumb decisions. And, well, it's uh, funny, a lot, a lot of what I've noticed from the, uh, you know, in, in the community is, is, you know, everybody talks about that First Amendment rights and, and the free speech, but yet uh, everybody wants to critique the way that people practice their free speech on channels, if that makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, it's kind of a, it's kind of funny, you know, when, when you really watch it and think about it. You know, it, you know, but uh, also on the other hand, I understand, you know, when someone is in someone else's channel, you're essentially on their, you know, in, in their, in their uh, room, per se. Yeah, you gotta... You, you gotta exercise uh, some certain manners. Discretion, uh, yeah, that kind of thing. Somebody in your house, and they're, uh, you know, talking uh, bad about you. You know, you're gonna ask them to find the door. Yeah, exactly. So, so I understand both sides, you know. For sure, and and uh, <laughs> yeah, I I think we all make dumb decisions, Kuminina. Um, I I know that when I went out to do my audit stuff or whatever, it was the same sort of dumb decision, but. Um, it's what people believe in, right? You know, it's the kind of thing like um, uh, uh, today I saw on Facebook. There's this stupid group talking about how they're discriminated against and shit like that or whatever. And I'm just like, they don't even know what discrimination is. They don't even know what it is because they live in a world that totally accepts religion for what it is. They live in a world that that uh, caters to minorities, that caters to uh, uh, dumb people, and oh, and and. Anybody who thinks outside of the circle, like like a atheism, for instance, right? People perceive an atheist as evil in most cases. And that is because religion is so notorious about uh, demonizing uh, non-believers, right? You don't believe? What do you believe? You must eat babies because you don't believe in God, you know? And that's literally the response I get right that they look at me like i eat babies so i would yeah. say that's real discrimination is that their perception of me is so completely wrong and i still can't say anything to change their mind because they're going to believe it no matter what and what can i do about it right 
I can sue them, I guess. But then what am I going to do? I'm going to get a job at a place that they don't want me at, you know, or the AIDS thing, right? I put down that I was sick and people don't want to hire me. Um, and even that place before, you know, I told, I told the lady why I was sick and, uh, um, and it's very possible that that's not, that's, that's the reason I didn't get the job, you know, because people have this perception of HIV as if you're in the same room as someone, you're going to catch it, you know, uh, so they, you know, like I said, these people, they don't even know what discrimination is until they've either been an atheist or had AIDS or something like that. Um, and I'm talking about America, you know, out in the rest of the world. Yeah. I mean, you, you, you could say that Christians are discriminated against, uh, but in America, hell no. You know, um, but in this, in to answer your question, that how I deal with that is uh, more or less a, a understanding of how little power I have to change it, and and uh, and I suppose the in the sense of if you were if you were to talk to say one of the people that you look up to about things that you want to complain about. Right, and you try to think of what they would say. Uh, um, and if I were to talk to my dad, let's say, about discrimination, he would probably tell me something along the lines of, "Well, you can either put up with it or do something about it," you know. And uh, um, I think putting up with it is probably the better, better uh, choice. Stay out of trouble. Stay out of jail for sure, because you know atheists in jail they get really badly discriminated against you go up in front of a judge that is absolutely totally christian and if they even get the tiniest hint that you're an atheist you're damn right you're gonna have discrimination against you um and people don't ever talk about that yeah i'm trying to read the our politicians love to do things in the name of freedom oh yeah for sure yeah like walmart just recently uh um stopped selling ammo and guns at their stores because they think that's going to change, uh, change, you know, gun, you know, cause there's, okay, just going a little bit off topic here. I actually think that there is not an increase in shootings, right? And the reason I say this is because nobody ever reports on car accidents unless they're like 20, 30 pileups, right? Because they happen all the time. Um, I think that up until recently, shootings had been happening all the time. It's just now they won't stop reporting on it. It's, it's the big thing. Everybody wants to hear about the latest shooting, you know? Sure. Yeah. It's not always easy, but we do the best we can when confronted with discrimination. Exactly. Yeah. We do the best you can. And you can either be bitter because of it, or you can move i guess i don't know it's hard to know what to do you know i've i've heard of people that <laughs> you know the, the news just watching the news and hearing about these things can bring you down to a point where you're almost like scared to walk out of your house for real and for I, real i've heard of people that just do not listen to the news at all or don't turn on the news on the news or the radio or whatever uh, so that they don't hear these things, and so then they live kind of in this this uh, ache bubble, like everything's okay. And and certainly I, I understand that, that, but you know, today with with technology, you know, we can we can transport uh, a, a news story you know worldwide in, in a matter of minutes. And you know, years ago when we were doing the cards and buggies, if something happened in your city. It never did get out of the city or to the other states. It just never did. Right. And so, uh, you know, people lived in that little, you know, happy bubble all the time. And I mean, it was normal. Today, you know, that that's not not normal. But but there's people that still do it. I don't know uh, if if one way or the other is right. You know, I think that it's good to be up on current events. It's good to know what's going on. Somebody mentioned that. You know, hey, uh, you know, when there's an evacuation going on in Florida, it's why. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But so it's good, to, it's good to know just so that you can be part of humanity and talk. But, but yet it's good to also maybe shield yourself uh, 
so that you're not walking through all the time. I don't know what your thoughts on that. Well, certainly we all have an, uh, an obligation to be our own first responders. So if you're being, like, followed in the middle of the night by someone who very, very likely wants to hurt you, then uh, my best a answer to that would be to have some sort of training in self-defense or, or something along those lines, you know. Um, it's... Certainly in a disaster situation, I think what you were saying, like in Florida, you're going to get all the really crooked people out. Um, and, and, uh, and, and not only that, the, the, it's not just the looters, right? It's not just them. I remember I was out having a cigarette uh, on a, at, at, a, at work one day. Uh, this was, I think, two years after Katrina happened. And uh, somebody who I think was likely a homeless person he came up to me and, you know, asked for a cigarette. I was like, yeah, for whatever, you know, smokers got to look out for other smokers. And, um, and I was like, hey, how, you know, what's up? How, you, where, where'd you come from? Kind of thing. And he says, oh, I got here from uh, Katrina, you know, and haven't left. And he was telling me about how he woke up and there was, you know, water on his first floor. And so they left their house to higher ground and they found this neighborhood that was abandoned, of course, because everyone left and uh, broke into this manor, you know, not a mansion, not a house, you know, somewhere in between. And he was like, I was drinking the wine. I had the, you know, big screen TVs, that kind of thing. And, uh, and he, he ate their food. He slept in their beds and he just absolutely trashed the place, you know, and, um, and it's those people exist. People like that exist, you know. So it's it's really it's really difficult to, I guess, deal with it. You have to acknowledge it and hope it doesn't happen to you. I guess. I guess we're all over the place on this uh, on the conversation, but yeah, it it definitely you definitely have to be aware of certain situations. Yeah, see, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to go check out that program you were talking about. I just pulled it up. But, uh, you have a good night. All right, and, man. Uh, I saw that Brian's not seeing, uh... Yeah, he's got, uh... Yeah. Well, let him know I said hello, uh, so he can hear it. And, uh, For sure. tell him thank you. Well, Mita says hello, Brian. Yeah, have a moment. For sure, man. There's good having a caller, though. For sure, and uh, one more thing on the positivity thing is that uh, I'll always say this, it's uh, you are a sack of meat and hormones, pretty much, meat, hormones, and water. And uh, um, if you don't exercise the gland that produces feel-good feelings, then uh, it'll shrivel up and die. Um, and that's where depression comes in. So people who are depressed, it's, it's a chemical thing, is that they no longer produce the, the hormones that, uh, or they don't produce enough hormones that, that give you that feel-good. But instead of treating it with, say, working out or or, uh, um, you know, going to out instead of staying in. Instead of treating it by doing things that make you happy, a lot of times people will take medicine to replace that hormone. And, uh, and once you do that, your body will immediately just, or excuse me, will gradually stop producing that hormone. And then you'll actually be chemically addicted to whatever they're giving you in order to be happy. So um, it's very important that you always exercise that feel-good gland. I do it by looking and thinking about trees because trees make me happy. They make me feel good. I love uh, um, and all kinds of things. You know, watch a movie that makes you cry. You know, watch a movie that makes you laugh. 
that kind of thing. Uh, you know, always got to make sure that you're taking care of your your chemicals, taking care of your brain. Hell yeah, man. You too, man. Have a good night. Take care, buddy. Bye bye. Yeah. Yeah, they smoke your whole pack. I I was actually uh, on my way to work every day, and uh, there was this really sweet couple. They were they were of the older side and of the heavier side. And they both lived in the in a car, and um, I think it had to do with drugs. I'm pretty sure their situation was drug based, uh, but it also may have been health based. And uh, I would give them cigarettes every day, because I'd enjoy their company and and uh, talking with them and stuff like that. But unfortunately, it got to the point where I couldn't afford to give them cigarettes every day. You know. Yeah. Exactly. I actually haven't had a cigarette in too long. Too long! But I don't have enough money for food, let alone gas, let alone cigarettes. You know? You gotta fix that problem, yeah? <laughs> oh shit, what did I just do? Let's see how in the world I managed to make this thing. So it looks like I've got all right. So it looks like I have one wire here. That's man. This is going to be impossible to freaking emulate. I may have to remake this thing. Well, let's try. Let's give it a try. Where's the wire? Bobby Duke. Yeah, if you guys don't know Bobby Duke uh, arts, yeah, that guy has some seriously amazing art. Uh, here it is. No yawning. Yeah, it's important to laugh and smile. I hope everyone does at least one di uh, uh, one uh, dose a day. One dose of laughter a day keeps the depression away.
Okay, I think that's good. Oh yeah, definitely. It definitely is. But if I don't use this thickness of wire, then it will definitely not be strong enough. Where's my hammer? Maybe if I untwist it a tiny, tiny bit. <sighs> Pretty sure this is some kind of uh, soldering or something uh, point. like it'll be all right okie dokie kumanina it was good seeing you you'll have to give me a call and give me a uh, an update on what's up Palm is itchy. All right, so that's good.
That's what it'll do. Let's see if that's just fine. Uh, it would have been even better if we did the uh, Discord instead. That way everyone would have been able to hear. Maybe even Brian. Looks like I didn't do it the right way. And this might even be too short anyway, so let's try it again. Let's try it again. Excuse me. No yawning, oops.
Alright, so I have to make it to where it's the other way around. That way. There we go. That's correct. Too complicated.
any ideas? pretty quick. Gonna get that phone call soon.
really just kind of winging everything at this point. Very aggravating.
Hey, I just come to grow good my sexuality. Hey there, about that time, eh? Yep, be there in just a minute. Alrighty guys, that's the time. Ugh. Ugh. I'd say we got a bit done. Despite the uh, conversation on the phone and whatnot. I'll be able to work on this while waiting for her to do her thing. Alrighty, love you guys. I gotta go. And I'll catch you next time. Wow. <sighs>